Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about types of report in Zoho Creator. We all know that if we create a form, it will automatically create a report data and list. So we are going to see 5 types of report. We can prepare any type of report for a form. We can select a form or report by selecting the form. We can select a report by selecting the list. We will see some types in next video like pie chart calendar. Now we will move on to list. For example, if we choose a map, it will ask us to which form to choose. We can select any form and we will save a name to generate the report. We will use delivery apps or food delivery apps. For example, a code to rent a cab. Since we are employee in the contact, we can add his or her name address in the list. The field is displayed on the map. So since one of our employees is not available, we can use this method. So next is list view. List view is default. We can edit this by going here and there. Or we can choose something like this. If we want to change the bulk data means we can edit it and change it. Like salary due date. We can edit this and go like this. So next is spreadsheet. We can edit specific field in a specific data cell here like spreadsheet viewer. If I click on the data means I can change it. There are an options we can change it here. If we click here we can change the save options. So it will be saved and at the same time we can change the designations. We can change the designation by changing the manager character in the accounts team. So next is Kanban view. Kanban view is a project tracking or project management or production management tool. This will be very useful for that process. Now I will keep team leader, account team and quality analyzer manager and director as a public contact. Now we can use it as just like drag and drop in progress. So Williams and Steve was transferred from quality analyzer to account team. So now we can operate it here. Now Steven Grant was transferred from manager to director quantity. Now it will be operated here. Then we have calendar view. We use this view for this joining date or for the pre intimation. For example, if we are preparing an appointment or an app, this view will be very useful. So the data shown here is the salary due date. So Williamson salary due date is 28-29. I have given it here. So you see. So here it is 28 and 29. So this is what we see here. There is another report properties. We will see that next in through in video report properties when the due date is given it becomes a color highlight there is a spreadsheet now i have to change it if i click on the spreadsheet i can change everything in the spreadsheet so this is the type of repository we have created. In next video, we will see it features and properties.
I'm just up refreshing the app. We can see it in a easy view. This easy view, I need to go to spreadsheet and rename the name as easy view. For link, I need to rename it easy view with using underscore. Thank you. Please subscribe, like and share. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you.